We turn to the fight against hunger. It has reached the music industry in a really big way. A local nonprofit is teaming up with the Grammys this year to feed families mm -hmm. in need. And the Grammys are this weekend. I believe yes. Yetta is going to be out there. She always does a good job Or it with might that. be next weekend. Oh, okay. We'll I have think to check. it's the okay. fifth. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was just getting too excited, apparently, about the Grammys. <laughs> Jessica is joining them this morning with more on how the program works. Enough about the Grammys. Let's talk about uh, what's going on here. St. Vincent de Paul, is that where you are? <laughs> Uh, yes, we are, and it is February 5th, actually, so we are at St. Vincent de Paul, and here's why. So they partner with a group called Musically Fed, and what they do is they recognize what happens to all the food from the concessions or the sweets or the after parties. Well, one woman realized it's going to waste. Let's not let it go to waste. Her name is Maria. She founded the entire organization. What a brilliant idea. <laughs> well, possibly, but working in the industry and working backstage and with all the crews, the band's crews, et cetera, for years we saw the waste just being being turned into waste when it didn't really need to be because catering's really good at what they do, so why not utilize that food for those in need? So our emphasis was on the veterans. So, yeah, talk to me about where the food goes. Some of the food comes right to St. Vincent de Paul, if it it's does, a local. It does. Um, they're one of the best partners we have because they have it so together throughout the city. They're able to take food. Many times we have the food ready to go at 9 or 10 o'clock at night, and we want to get it to the kitchen, to someone that can take it. They do that, and they know what they're going to do with it right away, which is really good. There's so many in need in town. So, so if it's at the Grammy, that food will stay in LA. If it's an event here, that food will stay here in Phoenix. And you're working a lot with Super Bowl events and the music events that happen right here in town. We do. It started here with you two. And um, Phoenix has some very excellent entertainment leaders. Uh, one of the top production managers in the world is a guy by the name of Jake Berry. And had you two coming in to rehearse and do two shows Live Nation, Jake Berry, Footprint Arena, Arizona Catering, all came together I can't say that they were like yeah let's do this but once they saw that the homeless vets those first two nights realized that food and how grateful they were it just shot from there and chef Chris you've been working at st. Vincent de Paul now seven years to what partner with Maria like this what what does that mean oh, it's a fantastic organization and we've been uh, partnering with them for about six months now um, maybe a little longer and uh, the items that we get are just wonderful. We get, I come in in the morning, I see the carts loaded up, and then I kind of take, assess what we have, and then I turn them into either meals for our residents across the street at Ozanam Manor, or I repurpose them into, for our shelters. But, you know, I take what we get and I turn them into something else and kind of incorporate the different things. Um, I'll make, I'll make, put together a, uh, meals that I could freeze and it's all great product you know we've had like Indian stuff and, and just uh, uh, Mexican and just you name it it's a lot a lot of great stuff we get very good thank you so much to the both of you they are going to eat well so the Grammys again February 5th it's going to be on CBS I think we're carrying it it's just going to make you look at the music industry and some of these big events in a whole new light I'll send it back to you Jess, thanks so much. They do really amazing work there. And thanks again. The Grammys, February.